Oh, hello there. Yes, well, we're nuzzling our way through the weekend, I suppose. Yes, yesterday felt like a very busy day. My phone was dinging on a regular basis with people um, <laughs> posting up comments on my last YouTube, not last YouTube, but the one before about um, certain people being racist. So uh, that seemed to carry on all day long, which was quite amusing in its own right, because... um. Um, believe it or not, there, is, there appears to be such a thing as the Darren Grimes Appreciation Society. I, I, I didn't actually believe that such people were real, but apparently some people get upset if you call things that Darren Grimes says racist. I think primarily because they agree with what he says, even if they don't necessarily like him, and therefore, by implication, you're calling them racist. And they get cross about that because, as I've said many times here in the past, nobody in the UK is racist. It's an actual fact. Yes, they just have legitimate concerns, which might well be a euphemism that I use for pretty much everything, I think. Um, yeah, any far-right thing is legitimate concerns. Naturally, of course. And moving on from that, hopefully anyway, because I really get, get bored having to point at racists saying racist things and then pointing out to people that they are racist and then arguing with them about whether or not they are racist. Yeah, they are. Anyway, boxing, yes, because we had a, a very odd situation all throughout yesterday about um, various people that are transphobic, or maybe just have legitimate concerns, but anyway, jumping up and down about the boxing, yes, because um, having spent uh, most of the sort of like late Thursday complaining bitterly about trans people and blokes taking part in women's boxing, then suddenly we actually arrived at this very odd point where, whereby they did a 180 suddenly and were complaining about the BBC putting on trans people to comment about things that they've been commenting on. Bear with me on that, okay, yeah? So, in other words, because they had made the issue one of trans, a, uh, a woman that looked quite masculine in the boxing, they then complained, yeah, cake and eat it, that the BBC were then discussing it as if it was a trans issue. No. They made it a trans issue because they wanted to, because in their world, of course, there is only men and women. They live in a nice certainty of that kind of Christian absolutism of biological certainty, okay? So if somebody tests with certain things in their chromosomes, they are either a man or a woman. There is no other possibility, even though medical science doesn't agree with them, yeah? So, for example, you know, having spent several months telling us that the CAS review is absolutely dead cert the science, when doctors say that they're going to look at it, it shouldn't be allowed because that's ideologues looking at it. Not their ideologues, you understand. Their ideologues are fine and rational and nice CAS-related human beings. And anyone else that questions that is an ideologue or maybe doesn't have legitimate concerns. You get the idea. Yeah, so there was a lot of that yesterday. But again, if you are a radical feminist that's really interested in women's issues, you should ask yourself whether or not aligning yourself to people like Donald Trump and the Heritage Foundation and Elon Musk is really necessarily a good look in terms of what you want to present. I'm not convinced that it is. You know, if you look at a lot of the women that go along to those Poser Parker events, a lot of them are sort of older lesbians from that kind of Katie Lang school of the 1990s who do present as very masculine looking. Now, that's entirely their choice, all right? It's entirely their choice. But it is very, very odd that these people demand that other people present either as male or female. And if they think that you're male, you mustn't be anything other than that. They will decide, all right? Okay? <laughs> So, yeah, um, uh, there are obviously people that fall out from the wayside on this, but part of the problem, if you like, in terms of people getting caught up in the flag, is that a lot of people get thrown out of their jobs. I mean, um, I managed to miss it about a day ago, but Kenny McBride, um, who uh, doesn't, appear, doesn't come across on his Twitter feed as a very likeable human being, he does tend to swear at people a lot who he doesn't agree with, should we say, um, has a slight difference of opinion with. Um, and got kicked out of his job. He appealed it, got kicked out again. 
right, okay, because you can't be a bigot at work, no matter what J.K. Rowling says, yeah, you can't be a bigot at work. But in relation to the biology, all right, okay, now if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna state biology, then it's fine, but be real about it. Because when you're dealing with the Olympics, you are, by definition, dealing with people at the top, the apex, the zenith, whichever word you might want to use, of their chosen sport. And all of this energy goes into arguing about tenths of a second or hundredths of a second in terms of people maybe taking drugs and those kind of things. But the simple fact is there's a lot of variation in human beings. I this caught my eye the other day about a very, very tall Chinese lass who's going to, not at this Olympics because she's too young, but at the next one probably pay basketball for the Chinese. Now, one might look at this person and think, oh hello, that looks a bit dodgy. No, that's what we call human variation. There's a lot of it around, okay? There's a hell of a lot of interesting weird quirks in terms of chromosomes. Think about all those people with downs. They get extra ones. Aren't they lucky? All that kind of thing. But of course, certain people want to twist that to a very, very, very nasty, nasty, narrow, bigoted end. And they will do anything they like, including kicking up a fuss about trans people and then claiming bitterly that somebody somewhere has made it all about trans people. Yeah, cake and eat it. Anyway, do have a lovely Saturday. I'm personally just going to, I don't know, stay cool and try and get some stuff done. Yeah, enjoy.